This one's on KRunner. It's actually the default run dialog for KDE. Uh, you can actually do more than that. Um, it's kind of like a GNOME do or comfort where it can launch applications, uh, do command lines, and, and all that. So let me show you here. So the default hotkey is Alt F2. Let me open it here. And that's the, what it looks like. It's just a little field and a few uh, buttons on the side. Anyways, if you want to launch, like, let's say, uh, a folder or not a uh, your places let me show you temp like my template folder here or let's say yeah, launching applications uh, see dragon player right pretty cool that's integrated here and you know um, what else is there oh yeah they do have let me show you some of these things in here so this one with the, it has a little question mark um, this one explains like some of the plugins um, that you have to do. So some of the plugins, you know, you just search for the term. But some of the plugins down here is a little different. You have to like type in a prefix for it. Uh, so let me show you what they have here. Okay, so I'm giving you an example here. Okay. So you see this one up here where it says uh, DICT uh, colon here. Basically, you have to type that in if you want to use uh, this Merriam-Webster dictionary. And it'll open it with your default browser. Um, so let me do that right now so I can show you. Or you can double click on this and it'll fill out the information for you. So if you double click on it, you know, it fills out this part up here DICT colon, right? And then you type in something like, I don't know, dog or something. And hit enter. Basically, that'll open your default browser and it searches for dog, right? Uh, what else you can do? Oh, you can actually do, um, you know, type in web pages also. So you do that again and type in www. What was it duck duck co. com. There you go, and um, you can use it to you know do URLs also. Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, this this next. Um, icon here is just to basically open your um, you know your system activities uh, this will show your process that's running on your computer I actually like this one it has, a little, it has a little filter that you can you know search for the process that you're trying to kill or look for really nice better than the one they have in GNOME where you have to look carefully of what the hell it is at you know this one has a filter I really like that I think this one is missing is like the one where it has the CPU percentage, I kind of like to look at that if I ever want to use, uh, you know, the, the system activities here. Uh, I think that's what they're missing. Otherwise, this one is like way better than the one that you have in GNOME. Uh, so that's one way to access it. Another way is to press a uh, Control Escape, and that's how you, a quicker way to there to do that. Okay, but let's get back to K Runner. That's what we're looking for here. Anyways, this next one is the settings, and in here you can see that you know they have all the the default plugins that they have here, right? So the, you know, not a big deal. So you can do command lines, and you can do calculator, and some other ones. Um, oh yeah, let's go to uh, what is this? The user interface. So let me show you here what I'm talking about here. So this is the default, and you can actually can't drag it this down here. You can only drag it side to side. But if you use uh, this thing in here, and we say free flowing windows, all right? We check that thing, apply it, and now it's like free flowing. You know, you can do kind of like um, what's that gnome do? Like it's in the center, right? Uh, so let's do some of this. So you put like equals. Let me see. Two. What up? No. Two plus two. You can use the calculator right there. Say so it'll tell you this four, right? Uh, that's another one, I guess. Uh, they actually have another interface here. Let me show you. Uh, this one is called task oriented, or I think they call it um, the quicksand uh, interface, I guess. So the quicksand looks more like a gnome do, but um, not really. It's kind of not impressive to me. You'll see why in a minute, okay? Anyways, if I I, I search for uh, or I do something in here, let's say I search for a dolphin, okay? 
you see they have, they have this little stupid thing on the right side that is really ugly dude I don't know who did that but that's stupid okay everything was going fine until I saw this thing you know but anyways if you want to like choose some different ones you press uh, you know left and right arrow and uh, you can choose the other ones but that thing is really ugly I don't know who did that but that was stupid everything was was really smooth until I saw that crap but um, that's it you know that's really all I gotta say right so you have two interfaces the other one and uh, the quicksand uh, another thing I want to talk about is uh, to change the high key because you don't want to you know press alt f2 every time so just use this and uh, let's see open system settings okay and go to the shortcut and gestures uh, and then go to global keyboard shortcuts here and right here where it says KD components uh, the drop down box and then you go to the one where it says run command interface and uh, right here where it says run command this is where you change the default here so let me show you here so the default was alt f2 you want to change it to custom and uh, you know just hit that and then hit the combo that you want alt space right pretty much that's it if you want to change your high key if you don't then it's alt f2 by default and then after that hit apply down here and pretty much you're done so that that's it that's K runner it's actually really nice but I wish they improved it more uh, it doesn't really beat uh, you know gnome do or kumfer at the moment but uh, it's really nice that it's integrated and uh, if you don't want to use some extra applications uh, I don't really you know see a problem with that uh, that's it for K runner okay